One of my early articles for the Sunday Independent included the phrase, fairly unique. My sub-editor said, George, it's either unique or it isn't. Well, I know one team that I think is unique. The British and Irish Lions, a selection of the four home countries coming together to play rugby in the Southern Hemisphere, is a unique achievement in world sport. And what an achievement it is. Even the kit itself is evocative. The red shirts of Wales, the white shorts of England, and the green and blue socks of Scotland and Ireland, representing the fact that men who have played against each other in a fiercely competitive environment of the Six Nations Championship now come together to play Australia, South Africa or New Zealand. This is O'Driscoll! It's gone through! Ireland has made an extraordinary contribution. Captains like Kieran Fitzgerald, Carl Mullen, Ronnie Dawson, coaches like Noel Murphy, Tommy Kiernan, Ronnie Dawson again, and Sid Miller, and managers like Sid Miller. It is a contribution far greater than the size of the country, the number of players, or indeed our contribution to the European game. This Cal Mike has got the try. Look at this ball popping out. There's John Slider. Gibson the try will make it 40 points. Round goes Gibson from Ireland. Brent, what's your big memory for, of the Lions? Well, strange enough, my memory is actually when I was very young. I come from a small rural town of about 13,000 people, and I remember in 1971 the Lions came to town. The toss match which uh, was the sort of game that the Lions had to win. Without a win in the first toss match, the tour would have been finished. With eternal credit, the Lions went on the field to play rugby. Right, Mead, behind with Willie John, Sean Lynch and Delmy Thomas. Chico Hopkins to Barry John, John Dawes, that's the big man, that's John Bevan. But in that era, of course, there was Barry John, say, John Bevan was my favourite, the big strong winger at that stage, they had the David Duckham's and that, and that really kind of propelled me, I suppose, into rugby. I remember we would go back and play rugby in the backyard, you know, you'd be John Bevan for the day, you'd score three tries. That's extraordinary because that 1971 Lions, which was coached by Carwin James, captained by John Dawes, I was just starting my coaching career and there was a, it had an enormous influence on me because also, interestingly, all the key players wrote a book called The Lions Speak and Ray McLaughlin talked about the scrummage and it had an enormous influence. I want to be cool, calm, collected, efficient, capable, ruthless, professional. The Lions concept now faces huge challenges to its very existence. The professional game has meant that with the proliferation of club and international fixtures, finding time for a team from four countries to travel thousands of miles to play rugby is almost impossible. So what is now happening is that the Lions tour just simply to survive has to become a shortened event. The shortened event means that there is less time for the great friendships that was very much part of the Lions. But if we lose the Lions concept, then we lose the extraordinary achievements of Keith Wood throwing to Martin Johnson, of Johnny Wilkinson passing to Brian O'Driscoll, for Brian O'Driscoll making a break to put Jason Robinson over in the corner. If we lose that, we lose something very important in rugby.